My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1976 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme 18,600 actual miles. What a nice survivor and great color. Silver with the blue interior. One owner car. We have a copy of the original title that we had to turn in to get the new Illinois title, but we kept the original envelope uh, dated 1976 when the title was mailed to the first owner. Uh, and it was a gentleman's wife that used the car, so it's a one woman owned car its entire life. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures, read the description. That's where you find a price tag on this and every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, now if you look at the underside, it's not going to be glamorous, it's original. It's never even been spray canned, it's all original. So the, the big metal items, the steering components, uh, the rear end, it has that surface rust on it. The floors themselves, the actual metal part of the body and the floor and the rockers are outstanding. There's no rust, no rot at all, it's rock solid. Uh, and all the components look to be in good shape. Uh, front end components look good. It still has its original spiral shocks on the car. Uh, it may have its original exhaust system too. It still has a catalytic converter. Uh, it has disc brakes in front. They're drumming back. VIN number matching motor, the 350 motor, and it's a VIN number matching 350, uh, turbo 350 automatic trans. So they're both original to the car. So the body. I think it's a, I'm getting out of the way, you can just admire it. It's a handsome looking body design. I've always liked these. Matter of fact, our number one watched YouTube video is a 76 Silver Pontiac Grand Prix. Number one out of all the cars. This reminded me of that when we pulled it in here. Uh, it was repainted one time. It just got enough chips and scratches from just being around. Uh, the car was repainted. On the outside, one time, it's its original color, and it looks beautiful. It's polished up real nicely. The roof is straight. The hood is straight. I don't see a dent. All this up here, excellent. Nothing's broken or damaged. All fits real nice. No dents. Absolutely straight. Straight as an arrow down the side. No rust bubbles, no issues. This is all in excellent, excellent shape. All real nice. No issues. No rust, no damage. The rubber fillers are in good shape. So the body is excellent. The paint is super glossy, really polished. The silver is laid out evenly. There's minor imperfections. Here's some chips right along this edge right here. Uh, the original plastic filler is a little faded in here. Nortown Oldsmobile, cars from Colorado. Uh, the bumper is beautiful. It's nice and shiny. Tail lights look real nice. Rear windows crystal clear. The stainless trim is real nice. The trim around this Landau window is mint. A nice little Oldsmobile emblem. Painted on blue pinstripe. No vinyl top. I think that looks really good like that. Uh, door handles real nice. The rubber seals are nice. The weather strips are excellent. The mirror is real nice. Well, there's some little pimples in the chrome. Windshield's crystal clear. Cutlass emblem is sparkling. The wheel well moldings are polished. Front bumper is shiny. The grill is not pitted. This is all real nice. So yeah, the outside of the car is looking really sharp. Brand new tires. Those were just put on. Still has the nubs on the tread. BF Goodrich tires. Original rally wheels. They're all in really nice shape. So that's the outside of the car. Let's open it up and give you a tour of the inside. Let's see what we have inside the trunk. 
Aha, a nice trunk. I like this trunk, and I'll tell you why. Well, first of all, we have the original paint in really nice shape. The jam, the weather strip, that's really nice. Now look at this spatter finish. That's the factory spatter. I can immediately tell the stuff in the spray can is different. It's chunky, it's different. So this trunk uh, compartment has never been sprayed. It's kind of stuck down, but yeah, they just they got the silver paint and then a little bit of spatter. This is a pristine, untouched uh, trunk compartment. And also there's the original spare, never been on the ground, still has the nubs, it's never been out of the car, matching rally wheel, the spare uh, or the jack assembly is still under there. So very cool, mint time capsule right there. The jams are original, the outside of the car is painted. And I gotta say, I love the colors. You know, back then brown was real popular and greens uh, golds, the silver with the blue is pretty sharp. The door jams have uh, held up well. They look real nice. Rubber's good. The interior is mint. That door panel, both sides are just in excellent shape. Oh, I just sat in here very comfortable. Nice cushion in the seat still. The dash pad is mint. There's no cracks or splits. It's not faded. All the chrome, look at the vents, how nice they are, and the wood grain, and all the little bezels and knobs, and <clears throat> the lenses and gauges, heater control panel, AM, FM stereo, actually sounds great. Were they a smoker? Yeah, they smoked a few cigarettes or something. Uh, this is all mint. Oh, what we got here? Original build sheet card. Oops. Uh, I do want to point out, though, the steering wheel. It's not worn, but just from age, the steering wheel did not fare so well. It did crack. Carpet's in excellent shape. The seats are a nice cloth, and like I just said, they're nice and firm. It has the fold-down center cushion. Uh, the back seat, excellent shape. All the seat belts are excellent. The side panels. All the plastic trim around the back window and the quarter windows, all that's mint. Headliner, visors are mint. The rear view mirror is mint. Doesn't smell. A lot of times, low mile car, they get critters living in them. Not this car. It's, it's really nice inside. Three hundred and fifty motor again, number matching. Very original motor compartment. Actually, very clean. It has power steering, power brakes. The air cleaner assemblies, all the vacuum lines, the heat riser tube, all the duct work. That's all hooked up. Something like that gets taken off enough times, those parts go missing. But low mile car, you'll find that stuff. The overflow bottles not cracked. All the hoses are run the way they should. Uh, the air conditioning is cold in this car too. Firewall, heater box, everything's very nice. We we're giving out awards for the best trunk compartment. First place right here. That's the nicest, best trunk compartment that I can remember I've had in any car. To see the spatter original in that good a shape with the original spare. I know I already told you all that, but I found that really cool. Nice, slick, good looking car. Comfortable to cruise. This is a, a car that you can Get started in the collector car hobby and not have to spend a fortune. You can go to the Oldsmobile shows and any car show for that matter 
and uh, be really proud of something without spending a fortune. Go to Volo, excuse me, go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression. Salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your house. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you can be first to see the next car posted. Thanks for watching.